Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show you or I want to rather show to beginners how you can set up your first EMR cluster with Hive, Spark and Hue, create an external table um, basically uh, for DynamoDB and basically query that. We are also going to see how you can connect to the EMR from a local client tool such as DB Weaver and basically run standard SQL query against your Hive Metastore, which is Glue in this case. If you are excited to learn, let's rock and roll without wasting any further time. Uh, just a small note, if you're gonna do the lab, there is gonna be a cost associated to it, probably a dollar or two, but without wasting any further time, let's learn uh, about this. So the first step is we need to create an EC2 key pair and you could basically do that by heading over to the EC2 dashboard and then click on create key pair over here. And then if you're using Windows, uh, go for .ppk and then you can connect to the SSH through a tool called PuTTY. If you're using a Mac OS, .pem would just work fine. Put any name that you like and then click on create uh, key pair. This will download the key pair on your computer. Just move the, uh, that key into a folder called project or some name that you probably would like to give. The next step is we need an EMR cluster. So let's take a look at that process. Next step is we need an EMR cluster and let's follow the steps. So you can click on the button that says create cluster over here, or you can use uh, you know uh, AWS CLI to create the cluster as well. So let me show you the settings that we're gonna use for the project. All right, hopefully the, it's visible, right? Uh, give it a name, whatever you like, doesn't really matter. Uh, make sure, uh, you know, Hive is selected, make sure Hadoop is selected and make sure Spark is selected. After that, make sure AWS Glue Data Catalog because we're gonna use AWS Glue Data Catalog as a Hive Metastore and both of these checkboxes are enabled, make sure, okay? After that, um, you know, for the primary node, we're gonna use M5X large. Uh, again, we're gonna terminate this in probably 30 minutes or so, so choose that. For the core node, we're gonna again choose the same instance and I'm gonna remove the task node because for learning purposes, I don't really need a task node, okay? So for cost purposes, I have removed it, okay? Uh, keep scrolling down. Uh, you should be seeing your default VPC and subnet, okay? After that, uh, leave everything else to default. When you come to the security group, this is important. Make sure to select your uh, uh, SSH key pair, right? The one that we generated to the uh, EC2, uh, you know, console, right? There was an option which says key, key pair. So select that. And then uh, over here on the IAM roles, uh, you can probably select on create an instance profile, right? So hopefully it made sense. This will probably basically create your IAM role, default role. When you do that, make sure you select all S3 buckets, okay? So I already have it, so I'm not gonna do it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review everything over here. Okay, looks good, looks good, looks good, perfect. And then I'm gonna click on clone cluster. So now this will take from anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes to basically start the cluster. So I will pause the video and resume once my cluster is in the running state. Now, meanwhile, the cluster is in the creating state, right? We want to do a small lab, right? Which means you want to create an external table. So let's create a very simple DynamoDB table. Uh, so head over to your console. Click on DynamoDB over here and click on tables. Now click on create table, uh, give, give the name as user and give the partition key as ID, okay? I already have a table, so I'm just showing you the, the steps here. As you can see, I have a table called user and if I see the data, I just have a sample data which you can see ID and a name, right? So insert some fake data into DynamoDB and uh, meanwhile, let's uh, grab a cup of coffee because the EMR cluster is still in the starting state. I'll resume the video once the EMR cluster is in the waiting state, which means uh, it's ready to receive um, commands from you, right? So I'm gonna pause the video right here. All right, the cluster is finally ready. It took a while. So now back here, click here. Now over here, you will see, uh, where is that? Copy this primary node public DNS, copy that. And what you wanna do is, uh, where is my IntelliJ, hold on, over here, right? So now, paste that over here, right? So make sure you paste that in some text editor or whatever that is, right? Just just, just keep a note of it. Now, what, we, what you wanna do is go to application, okay? And then here you should see something called Hue, right? Click there, and this should open up a portal, and put the username as admin, and password as admin one at the rate three four five whatever you like so i'm just gonna put that 
okay and then click on create account and this should basically log you in into the hue portal right where you can start writing you know uh, standard sql query against your hive meta store right so let's let's wait for this to uh, you know uh, log us in so might take about a second or two so now i'm inside my hive portal as you can see um, hopefully this makes sense now if you go over here you should select um, where is hive here option hive right and when you do select that you would see a database called default now you should also be able to see that particular database in the glue section so now we are using um, glue as a hive meta store right uh, so that makes sense now what we will do is we're going to go to hive um, we want to query this dynamo db table over here right the table name is user and it has two field called id and name and i want to create an external table and query that we are on hive so what we will do is again very not not complex very simple hello world create external table dyn underscore user uh, the table has two fields that is id and name uh, and let's try to create this uh, table now uh, as you can see right makes sense now it's done right so now let's run a simple query uh, if you refresh over here you should see that table called dyn underscore user i'm gonna zoom in hopefully you guys make sense select star from dyn underscore user and run this and i should see my data from dynamo db over here look congratulations now let me show you how you can use a tool called db viewer to connect to your glue hive mera store and start running a sql query against that from local machine right because the end user of course want to query this data right so i want to show you that process uh, you can come here to db viewer and click on this icon and then select apache hive over here click next now make sure uh, on the database section you put the right database name i'm going to put default and then uh, go to the ssh tab and click on use ssh tunnel over here okay now the host slash ip that would be probably let me see if i can find that let me bring this one here all right so you see that um, uh, primary node uh, public dns that would go over here host slash ip username will be hadoop h-a-d-o-o-p and in the authentic authentication method choose public key and then make sure to select your pem key uh, uh, from the from the uh, file browser right after uh, after selecting that you can click on test tunnel configuration and it should give you a success i've already done it so here you can see that table which is dyn underscore user and now I can start writing standard SQL queries here, right? So I can see, select everything from, I can say, Dyn users. Uh, looks like we have a small error. Uh, select everything. Oh, spelling mistake. Sorry about that. <laughs> so select everything from, we're going to say, Dyn users. Dyn users. Okay. And then try try to run this and here you can see i see one and sawmill right this data was there in our dynamo db which i can probably show you dynamo db tables user click on explore and here you can see right hopefully makes sense so i hope this video will help you guys to understand you know how you can set up hive uh, hue uh, glue as a, a hive meta store uh, on emr of course and then you know create external tables how to connect uh, to it uh, from a local machine using a tool called db viewer so thank you so much for watching i would say the best way to learn is again try this out go spin up your emr cluster and try it out now, uh, just an information, don't leave your cl cluster running, otherwise it's going to cost you a lot of money. So I'm just going to cover that quickly. So now we need to terminate the cluster, right? We're done with the project. So come to EMR, click here, and then terminate, done. So the project is now done. So thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you have enjoyed. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video with your coworkers and colleagues. With that being said, if you have any questions, you can use the comment window to ask the question. If I know the answer, I'll let you know. If I don't know, I'll learn and then I'll let you know. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, and I'm going to see you next time.